Hi everyone, welcome back to the React Chess video tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the lifting of state in the React. So first of all, we will learn some theory part, theoretical part, and after that, we will make an example so that you can clear about everything in the uh, lifting up the state. So first of all, I'm just going to demonstrate something. Uh, so let's say uh, you have the two components here uh, in the React A and B. Okay, so which is the A? and this is the b component so when you just you what do you want actually when you're just going to change in the a then it will automatically reflect in the b and vice versa also all right so basically it could be like this so when you just change on the a it will reflect on the b and b to a so uh, in the parallel communication in the react is little bit little bit difficult uh, as compared to child to parent communication so to resolve this problem you can make a one more component which is the p component and this is the parent component so what actually you do you will be change the everything inside this component and they will be reflect to a and b so when you just change in the a then it will be going to in the p and then it will uh, just uh, updated the b through the p component and same thing is going to be like this so this is called the lifting of state you just uh, lift up the state a and b into the p component all right so this is the all about the concept so now let's start with the code so first of all you can see that uh, i have a component so i'm just going to make a child component also so i'm just going to make a child component here let's say child all right so in this component I'm just going to make a input box so I'm just going to write here input and some value will be come here and on change event all right so on the on change event what I'm just going to do uh, on change event this will be call a function here and I will write this function after some time and now I'm just going to use this child component here so I'm just going to make the child component like this all right so uh, okay so let's check for now that's enough I think so you can see that you have a one text box and I'm just going to make a one more text box here so this is the a and this is the b so you can use some placeholder if you want a okay you cannot use a placeholder because the both will be going to be show the same all right so when you just want to have some value entered in the a component it will be automatically reflect in the b and b to a also all right so for to put in the space i can just use the be attack all right okay so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, make a state inside my parent component so I'm just going to put here like data and in the initial value of data is zero okay and I'm just going to pass this data state inside my child probes so I'm just going to write here uh, well equal to this dot state dot data and same thing I'm just going to do here also okay and here you can access this, this data with simply this dot props dot data all right so uh, something wrong is here yeah, yeah uh, actually I have to put here well not data let's check so both have the zero value so you can s understand that that this state can be uh, can be update the both of data but how let's see okay so now I'm just going to make a one more function so let's say uh, you can make the function name like global change or whatever you want right and in this function I'm just going to write simply this dot 
set state and in the set state uh, I'm just going to write here data what will be data come it will become inside this function so let's say uh, I'm just going to write here value or you can just put the item for the uh, simplicity all right so and now the thing is how we can call this function so that it can be uh, update the value of the both so this function should be called from the here from the child so that it can be update here because here we cannot have the change event but here we have a change event all right so the more simplicity i'm just going to pass the one more uh, thing which is the uh, global change if this is my props name and here i'm just going to write here this dot props name dot bind and here i'm just going to simply add this all right so now you can access this function inside the child component that's fine so because uh, you can say that this is the simply child to parent data transfer okay so now there is uh, some final steps are here so now uh, on the change function you uh, just simply have to write here this dot probes dot uh, what is my function name is global change here all right and in this I'm just going to write here e dot target dot value just get it in the next line so that it can be look nice here so now you can see that whenever you're just going to change here you can be are able to see the change on the both values all right so this is the simplest way so uh, for uh, once more if you want to understand the proper way then you have to uh, you need a child com parent component inside the parent component you can access your uh, child component and you can make it here and here you have to pass the two things one is the value parameter which is the state of current and second is the function and this function will be called by the child all right so in this function we just pass the targeted value which is a changed here and this value will be called go, go inside the parent component and change the state and this state is passed inside the child component as a value props all right so this is the simple simplest way of uh, lifting up the state and if you want to just go inside the react document um yeah react js yes. lifting up state uh lifting state up so it will be a little, little bit complicated if you are just come here then you will see that there is a long documentation but uh, i think i just provide a simple way and uh, if you have any kind of confusion related to it then you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe the channel all right so thanks for watching this video bye bye